heavily against the tide of foreign imports by turning the clock back 60 years. Its latest models are winning overseas orders and taking a starring role at the prestigious Frankfurt Motor Show. In any line of traffic, it's inevitably the fleur-de-lis that catches the eye. It may look like a vintage van straight out of the 1920s. In fact, this is very much a 1980s model. Since production started at Newark in Nottinghamshire two years ago, they've made nearly 200. Among the latest customers, a company in Kuwait. Their clients already include many household names. The cost, £17,000 each, is way above the standard delivery van, but that appears no deterrent to buyers. Petrol consumption is around 20 miles per gallon. Top speed, over 70 miles per hour. The acceleration, 0 to 60, well, it's so slow, the company actually haven't bothered to measure it. But it's the vehicle's performance in a different way that really matters. People like to see a bit of nostalgia back on the road, so if you see something different on the road, you tend to look at it. So basically, that's how it's, it's taken off for us. Can you measure how successful it is in PR marketing terms? Well, it's basically a PR vehicle, but it's as practical as any other vehicle on the road. The vans are powered by Ford Transit engines, but the body building and assembly is all done by hand in Newark. The workforce has now grown to 55. Much time and care is devoted to the paintwork. They aim to achieve the same finish as with a Porsche. In many ways, it's the exact opposite of the modern car assembly line. But unlike British companies like Leyland, which has its back to the wall defending a shrinking home market, Fleur de Lis, in its own small way, is busy expanding all over the world. We're into France, we're into Germany, throughout Europe now, and we're also tackling the Far East and the Middle East as well. Fleur de Lis is proving that in the highly competitive car industry, it's still possible to be small and beautiful and successful. We're not get the competition from the big boys like Ford or any of the other bigger, bigger companies purely because of the production runs are too small for them. For us, it's just right. It's a nice little niche for us, and it's uh, basically what we require.